Hi everyone, I'm excited to share with you this brand new action set, the white action set. As you can see over here in my actions palette, there are a few different actions in the folder. There's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven different actions. So the main action is the white action. And then we have fill flash, which gives just that little bit more light. The highlight punch, which creates those beautiful crisp whites, pearly whites that just uh, re reduces some of those warm undertones white wash gives it a bit of a dreamy look highlight protection that helps you save some of the information in your highlights that might be a little close to being overexposed and then a 50 percent gray layer here i do love using that um, to help bring out some detail so we're going to go through each of the actions to show you how they work as you can see this image here it's a very neutral image there are some whites, some bright highlights here, but overall it's sort of a, a quite sort of um, muddy looking uh, beige. So we're going to try and bring that up to white as much as we can. I've also changed the background in Photoshop to white. You can do that just by right clicking in the background and choose custom and select white there. That's just going to help me look at the comparison between the whites in the image and that white background to make it uh, much easier to get the look I'm after. All right, so I'm going to start with the highlight protection here. Just because looking at my histogram here, there are some bright highlights and I definitely don't want to overexpose those. So I'm going to press play and it's going to tell me um, that this is going to recover some lost detail and so on. All right, so you can already see that it's starting to work here on the body. I'm going to press OK. And if I turn that off, that layer, you can see before and now after. So it's actually worked really, really well there at bringing back some of that bright information. Now, I don't want that layer to be applied to the face because I definitely don't want to make any of those skin tones muddy. So what I'm going to do is very quickly just use a black brush to take that layer off the face of the baby. All right, so before and after. All right, we're going to flatten that. Command Shift E. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here with this particular image is play our white action. Now it's again played it over the entire image and we do need to mask that off the baby's face. If I expand the group here, you'll see that there are three different action um, layers here that have been created within that action. There's the white layer at 70%, so you can adjust the opacity. The soft light layer at 40%, so you can increase or decrease that. And the mid-tone lift that's currently at 100%. So each of those layers are affecting the image differently so you can go through and adjust those depending on your photo as every image is different we want to make sure that we are getting the best results for each each image so i'm going to turn that group off and i'm going to come back to this image and i'm just going to quickly select the baby's face here using one of my selection tools You can use just the brush and mask off if you like. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to do this very quickly. All right, with the black brush at 100%, I'm taking that group of layers off the baby's face. You would take it off any areas that you don't want to apply this to. And come in with a small brush around some of those edges and be a little bit more specific. So as you can see, we're already starting to get that beautiful result. The next action that I want to play here is a little fill flash. And it's going to tell me to paint that on and adjust. So if, if I actually invert that layer mask, because it's a black layer mask, so that means that layer is not applied to the image you have to paint it on. So if I just hit Command I, you can see how it's actually filling some of those shadows. I really like how that's affecting the image, but we might just reduce the opacity down to say 50% there. The next action we're going to play is the highlight punch. So I'm going to come back up to our top group each time we play an action so that every time you play it, it 
applies that layer to the top over all of the other layers. All right, so as you can see, the pearly whites, that's actually removing some of those undertones, those warm undertones that we mentioned earlier. So you can bring that back to about 15%. Again, it's going to be different for every image, maybe about 10%. And this time we're going to go for that highlight punch. And it's again not applied the layer it's got an inverted layer mask so we're just going to command i just to show you how that's going to affect the entire image before we paint that on so it's quite bright so with a white brush at a low opacity around 30 percent you can paint that on to the areas that you just want to brighten a little bit and with an image like this where the background is a little darker than the body of the baby then we can just start lighten some of those brighter areas always keeping an eye on your histogram so you're not overexposing any information and keeping an eye on all of that detail all right the last one we're going to play here is the whitewash and i'm actually this has been applied to the image i'm actually going to invert that layer mask command i and taking that off and I'm going to paint that on just into some of those shadowy areas and around the edges where it's a little bit darker to, to give that a little bit of a, a soft overlay there. Alright, so every image is going to be different. I've been focusing here on the background of the image so you can see that the baby's face is you know quite cut out looking here but that's okay because you can come in and you can be more select with how you apply that layer to the baby's face so I'm at the top here and I can um, now use this layer mask all of those additional layers have been applied underneath that group so every time I turn that group off it's actually turning all of the layers off. So with a white brush at 100% I can come in and be a little bit more selective with the area that we're painting this onto so we don't get that cut out sort of look and so on. So you have full reign over all of the actions in here. You can adjust them to taste, you can play as much as you like they will work beautifully on any neutral sort of based image but yeah you can have fun with those I'll just turn that off again so you can see so there's our before image and there's our after and again you can come back up to that top layer and you can, if you want to bring back some of that warmth underneath, you can adjust the opacity of all of those layers within that group now. Entirely up to you and how you want to apply them to your images. But I can't wait to see what you create.